What do you think uh, went wrong there? Um, I thought that the first quarter we came out, uh, we were focused, uh, we did a good job on, I thought, on both ends of the floor. Um, they made a couple of tough shots in that uh, first quarter. And uh, then the, the, the second quarter, our offense was the, the really that the, the created a lot of struggle. Uh, we turned the ball over quite a bit, and that, that allowed them to run in transition. Uh, also, in the second quarter, we really struggled to to finish around the rim. Uh, their bigs did a good job of protecting the rim, blocking shots, which allowed them, obviously, to, to get out and run. They seemed to get a lot of baskets at the rim as well. Were you worried about the rim product protection all, all night? They didn't get much of it. Uh, we did not get uh, rim pro uh, protection, but uh, I think it was starting on the ball. I thought that uh, tonight we were getting hit on screens quite a bit. We did not do a good job of avoiding screens and, and uh, staying uh, in front of the man. And that's, you know, when you go downhill, a guard's going downhill and creating two versus one opportunities. For years, I've been seeing uh, Cleveland really doing a good job of finding their lob threats in, in Allen and in Wobbly. In terms of the rim protection, what's the answer when Yak goes to the bench, especially while Kelly's out? Is it as simple as sort of tightening up on the perimeter and preventing some of those blow buys, or is there somebody or somebody's, I guess, that need to step up in, in terms of the rim protection? I mean, um, we talked about it that, that any good defense starts with on ball. Like the better we do a job of communication, guarding the ball, staying in front of the ball, that's going to take uh, take uh, some of that problems at, at the rim. Um, but we got to continue working on that. We got to continue addressing that. I think a video session is going to be a really good one tomorrow. Um, I think guys were had a lot of emotions going into the, this game, uh, but. It's all of that is behind us, and we can really focus on our growth and development going from here. And the Scotty uh, plus the bench lineup in the first and second quarters, they threw a lot of zone at you guys. What did you see in terms of uh, the offense and how it did and didn't work? Um, I think uh, a couple of first shots that we missed. I thought that there were a couple of opportunities that we could do a better job of taking shots. We were driving inside, and uh, they kept their, their length at the rim that uh, deterred us from uh, finishing at the rim. Um, in second half, uh, we talked about it, what, what adjustments we need to make, how we need to space the floor better. Uh, so they did not run it as much in second half, but I think uh, it was better in the second half. Uh, he fall down um, quite a bit, and uh, he's yeah he's uh, he's sore right now. Uh, so we want to to be very precautious with with it, and uh, obviously we're gonna do all the testing uh, tonight and tomorrow and see where he's at. Since media day, we've been talking a lot about identity, identity. Um, you know, you can keep your identity in a win or in a loss. Did it feel like you guys kept your identities on both ends tonight? Um, there, there were moments that we had it, and uh, I think everybody could feel that. that there were moments that, that there, it was not there. You know, uh, we uh, had a lot of guys tonight uh, that played you know, uh, for the first time, our official NBA game. And uh, what we need to understand and learn is that it takes 48 minutes, that it cannot be sporadically two, three minutes here and there. We got to learn what it takes to win at this, this this level. And that's for offense and defense. You know, when we did good job offensively of moving and cutting, we were creating good opportunities. I'm not saying making shots necessarily, but we created good opportunities and good looks. And the same thing when we had good ball pressure, when we had good communication, when we executed a game plan on defensive end, we, we we forced them into, into tough shots. Uh, so uh, to answer your question, uh, for, for the moment it was there, but uh, for a uh, big part of the game, uh, um, you know, it was still there in the search. Did you make your, your rookies, Jamal had a long one, a little bit less, so a couple of the other guys less than that? I mean, uh, Jamal, uh, every time he touches the floor, like he plays so hard, you know, and uh, the way he he competes, uh, he was able to get a couple of uh, deflections and steals that allows us also to, to get out and, and run a little bit. Um, Jamo, uh, Jonathan Modbo, he, he did a good job of... Uh, uh, figuring out in the second half with those minutes, uh, his minutes in the first half were very limited, but I, I like what I saw there with energy that he brought and, and leg that he presents on defensive end, especially. And uh, Ulrich, any minute that he can get on the floor now, it's it's so so valuable. I wish that he gets in the more 
you know, close games. But today as well, he, I think he, he, uh, he used those minutes well. And Jamie Sambell as well, he stepped on the floor today. His shooting is, is real. He's, uh, he's creating gravity towards him. Um, but there is a, a lot of process. It's, it's the start of the long journey. So um, I think that, that they had a very valuable experience today. A year ago, Chris wasn't in the opening night rotation. Today, he was the first player off the bench, leading scorer. You've talked about what a productive summer he had. Does this sort of speak to that? Uh, I think so. I think that there is more layers to it that he needs to continue improving and and, and growing. I think that Chris is uh, very focused. Uh, I think that he's uh, really committed to this team and his teammates, and that's allowing him to go out there and be productive. This is a big night, obviously. Uh, 30th anniversary, some of the old players back, crowds pumped up, everything. How disappointing is it to give that kind of performance on a night that seemed to have everything else going for it? It's uh, um, game one of the opening dive of, of the regular season. Uh, definitely, we want to compete and win and, and try to do it every single night. Uh, but at the same time, we gotta we gotta be patient with our young team and really give those ch uh, guys chance and opportunity to learn and bounce back. I know that they are uh, disappointed in the locker room, and I know that this group is hungry to come back tomorrow and learn and improve. Scotty didn't seem like he had his best night, wasn't super comfortable. What was the difference between what you saw him tonight versus the last couple of games of the preseason where he looked really sharp? I mean, um, it's one night, it's one game. Uh, we all believe in Scotty. We know uh, what kind of player he is and how he can contribute to the team. Um, he, will be, he will be just fine. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you, guys. Thanks so much.